Friday before the presidential poll since May. The Whitewater student government makes an earnest attempt to connect the Warhawks to get out and vote. The absentee ballot on campus provides outlets for record-breaking the return of My name is Bradley J. Burt, and I am at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater to investigate the impact of student absence on campus during the coronavirus outbreak the presidential election. The University of Wisconsin Whitewater canceled Warhawk vote events at the University Center for coronavirus precautions. Members of the political science department share their experience. Yeah, I guess there's two really big changes as far as Warhawk vote goes. The first really big change is a lot of conventional recruitment methods like having a table set up in the university commons, we can't do now. So some of the conventional ways of, of connecting students with voting information has been supplanted by digital means. Custodial staff continuously wiped down the campus. The University Center Whitewater Student Government Office continues to rally the Warhawk vote, virtually speculating voter turnout. I, I think that there will be more mail-in ballots or more dropped-off ballots. Those are still all absentee or mail-in. Uh, in terms of in-person turnout, I think, specifically on a college campus, I think it's going to be higher than the national or even state average. I think more college students are just simply comfortable going in person, not saying that's necessarily a good or bad thing. I think it's just a fact. 60 million absentee voters projected this year with an 80 to 130 million on average show up on election day to vote. The Hamilton room felt like a ghost town Friday before election day at high noon. Very dead in UC. And it's never dead here. It's always so much life. So I'm not sure our students are just not involved with campus right now. And that's why they're not, you know, interacting and voting around campus, on campus, or uh, showing up to the Warhawk vote. Um, initiatives, but um, I know within BSU, I've ha helped students register to vote, help, made sure they checked to, that if they were registered or not. Vacant lecture halls symbolically represent the crux of the professor during election week. Professors unpacked absentee voting information online this time. The in-person classroom dynamic sets the stage for voter influence. When it comes to the absentee ballots is, um, does it have an impact on perceptions of legitimacy of the election because, you know, you have states like Wisconsin that they're not allowed to start counting their absentee ballots until election day. You have states like Florida and Ohio that are allowed to start counting their ballots before election day. In years past, political party organizations influenced voting through tabling at the University Senate. Political science professors lecturing from Highland classrooms unpacked the complexities of the absentee ballot on whiteboards for students. Student classroom vacancy in the absentee ballot played a major part with campus district voter turnout. An attempt to contact the Whitewater City clerk sought to collect data regarding absentee ballot who respectfully declined. The Whitewater City clerk did offer an after election follow-up interview. I'm Bradley J. Burke, reporting for Outpost 422.